work with a network of wine growers that is still for us. So we buy their eau de vie and we age it in our own cellars here and outside Conne, because here we are very limited by the size of the buildings. But we do our blendings here. This is the Bash Gaviesan range. We start with the VS called Pre Corse. Pre Corse means three crosses. This one was sold in pharmacies during the prohibition in Norway. It was three red crosses, but we are not allowed anymore, so now it's uh, three silver crosses. This is the one we sell the most in Norway. So this is a blend of cognac from Grand Champagne, Petit Champagne, Fin Bois, aged between three to 10 years. The VSOP is a blend of uh, Petit Champagne, Fin Bois, aged between five to 12 years old. Then we have the XO, which is a blend of Grand Champagne, Petit Champagne, Spin Champagne Cognac, Age between 15 to 25 years old. Then we have Thomas Ixo Prestige, in reference to Thomas Bakker-Gabriesen. This one is the one we sell the most in tax-free. This is a one liter size bottle. This is a different blend from the Ixo Fin Champagne. The blend is just a bit older than the Ixo and people really love the bottle. This one is the Ixo for Asia. So this is again a different blend and a different bottle. Serenité is sort of extra cognac age between 30-40 years. It's from Grand Champagne. It's a really top cognac. We won the prize of the best cognac at the Hong Kong International Wine and Spirit Competition. And the top of the range, Ordage. It's a blend of different cognac from Grand Champagne. It's aged between 1917 and 1960. It's a blend of different years. Very, very old cognac. Then it's limited editions that we have. This one for the 100 years of the company. Tribute is a cognac from 1860. So we have 500 decanters, very exclusive. And this one, Sublime Paul Blanche, is a cognac that came from our paradise. This one was from 1890, so it's not a vintage cognac because it was not sealed in a barrel. We cannot really prove it, even if we know that it's from 1890. So that was 120 bottles, so limited edition. It's true that the tradition in cognac is to blend, to find a good harmony between different vintages, different uh, growing areas. But sometimes when you get a very good cognac by itself, doesn't need to be blended with other vintages, you can decide to bottle it and make it special. So from the day we distill the cognac until the day we bottle the cognac, this cognac has to be in a barrel that is sealed or this barrel can be stored in a special room locked by the BNIC and we don't have the key to ensure that the consumer will drink this cognac and this cognac will be from this special year. Uh, you can only write the year if you can prove that it comes from this year. These barrels are different from the others because they are sealed by the BNIC. They put this uh, red box and so we don't, we don't open them ourselves. They have to come and, and cut it and then they can open it and then they will have another uh, layer of wax. Then we will be able to sell it as a 1975 vintage cognac. So those ones are a bottle of this 1992 Fin Bois Cognac and this one is a 1973 Petit Champagne Cognac. We have this special collection for Norway actually because these three cognac, Anna, Maria, Solen, were blended in cooperation with the Norwegian Salamaster that we know very well. He owns restaurants in Norway as well. And uh, we decided to have a special blends. So Anna Maria, they are the daughters of this Salamaster. And Solen is uh, also one of the daughters of our Salamaster. So Solen is a very old cognac that is 40 years old from Grand Champagne. It's a single estate cognac. This is one of the bottles from a collection of cognac called Pure and Rustic. It's funny because in the US we had to change the name and the name is Nature and Elegance. This is a, a theory of cognac, uh, we can call them Brut Cognac, with no additives at all. So we have an XO, BSOP, it's a sort of niche cognac. It's a bit more uh, fresh and closer maybe to whiskey. Or it's something very different from traditional cognac. Some of this cognac have been in the same bottle for many, many, many years now. So the more recent bottles, 
you have to meet the, the good portals and with the good price. And we tried to land the XO in Asia, but quickly we realized it was not uh, meeting the demands. So then we tried this big one. And when we launched this bottle in Norway, where we usually sell this kind of simple packaging, we were not quite sure about how people would react because it's more about perfume and actually we had good feedback from this bottle. We sell both brands on the same market. In Asia we have both brands, but in a way you will not find the UP when we have some demand and the brand is exclusively uh, dedicated to one importer. If someone else wants it, we can suggest a UP or vice versa and there's no room. That's what people prefer in terms of packaging, in terms of brand name. Dupuis is a bit higher. This is where we do the blends. The Salamaster is trying to find a good combination between all different cognacs. So he will blend them and smell. All the time he uses his nose. And he has, of course, to give the same quality years after years, which is the existing cognac also has sometimes to create new cognac so he has some sort of recipes but then he never uses the same all the year after year so this is also a challenge for him to give a constant quality they use things to measure the temperature of the cognac the alcohol content lots of calculation that you can do with simple books not really simple to understand but this is an old book that we still use but it's still the same technique actually. We don't have a lot of analysis to blend cognac. The Paradise is a place where we store the cognac in glass containers to stop the aging process. They're called the Demi Jones. The oldest cognac from the Paradise from 1842. So it's been aged for 50, 60, 7 years in barrels. But then after such a long time, the Salamas chose to stop the aging and to put it in glass containers.